Hey, welcome to day 16 of React Holiday. Uh, we have learned a lot so far and I'm excited to continue. We still have a handful of days. Now, uh, I thought I'd start by recapping some of the things that we did over the weekend because uh, this is the first email. I didn't email you over the weekend and I thought I would just kind of like show you some of the things that we um, had changed. Um, so first of all, I spent the first day just developing out this um, this Pokemon view. And I was using the um, RESTlet client API explorer so to, to find certain data. And I was using the, uh, let's see, the Nintendo or Pokemon um, Pokedex that they have as a reference for kind of what they use. So um, we'll probably look at that again, but for now that's just kind of where we're at. So anyway, I have, um, I expanded uh, our Pokemon to, you know, be the name, an image, height, weight, abilities, type, stats, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that was the first thing I did. The second thing that I did was to um, change up our collection resource just a little bit so that instead of um, having instead of putting the ID, instead of doing all of that in our list and having it only available in this component, um, what I did was I moved that up where we were basically um, returning a new Pokemon object with an ID. Um, I moved that up into the resource, which has some benefits. The first being that um, now anytime I use this resource or try to pull that value from these values from cache, um, those IDs are already there which is great and it's not doing that re it's not making new objects every time we render a, a list item. Um, so that's great. Um, I mean, I can't say for sure what the, the, the performance dynamics are, but um, it sure does feel a lot better kind of doing it right before I cache it and just reading that value instead of literally every object creating a new object every time we render. So I assume that it's better. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we can now use this collection resource and anywhere and we're going to have that that ID associated with it. So uh, those are the two things that um, I did over the weekend. Now for today, um, now that this Pokemon view is fleshed out um, at least a little bit, um, there's a lot more data. It's it's getting harder to actually see this list that we can navigate through. Um, so what I'd like to do in in the Pokedex that I, I saw, it had a big list and then it allowed you to click and it would show like a the, the detail page, right? Uh, I'd like to mimic that behavior. And for that, I'm going to use a ternary to basically say like, if we have a Pokemon ID, show the detail page. And then in order to get back, um, I will set the Pokemon ID to zero or a, a negative number. Um, traditionally, we would do this with routes. Uh, I'd like to leave routes out of the conversation for right now because this, this is totally focused on React. But traditionally, we would, we would do a route for something like this. Um, but I want to show you um, just kind of a, a purely React-based solution. Um, and I want to show you how to use a ternary. So. A ternary operator is a lot like an if uh, if else statement, right? So you might have something like if um, some condition, you would open that up and then you would do something uh, when truthy. So this would be the truthy case. And then if you have an else, well, that would be the uh, do something else when falsy. Okay, so this is, I mean, this is a, a pretty common if else scenario. Sorry, it's, it's, uh, I'll do that to make that error go away. Um, just more errors. Anyway, um, we can, there's a ternary, um, which is really fascinating and it, it reduces all of the syntax. Um, and the ternary looks like this. So if I want, I can do something like, um, so we can take this off, that goes away. And we just replace this with a question mark. Now the question is the truthy condition. So just like our if, 
And then we're going to replace this with a colon. And delete that, delete that. And that's what we get. Now the cool thing about this is that we can, this is, um, this is an expression, so it's assignable, right? So we could say, let clapping, so clapping equals happy end knows it, question mark. If true, then we'll, or if in the true case, we'll assign this to true. So now clapping is true. Uh, in the falsy case, we will assign falsy, false to, um, to clapping. Now these don't have to be true and false. We can do we can do any anything in here. The thing, the reason that this is important is because you don't have the, you don't have if else's inside of JSX. You can use them obviously anywhere that you have JavaScript. But when we're in this return and we're returning uh, React elements, um, we can't. We can only use expressions. Now one of the most popular expressions is that ternary operator. There's also um, the and, uh, you could use like and and short circuiting um, or or you can use a lot, uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, however, in this case, we do want to have like an if else condition and that'll look something like this. So we'll open up our uh, interpolation inside of JSX so we can write JavaScript. And let's see, what will our condition be? So Right now we have a Pokemon ID. And I think that if we don't have a Pokemon ID or if we have a negative invalid Pokemon ID, so less than one, um, we would like to show the list. Uh, if we have an ID, well, then we'd like to show the detail page. Um, so let's do that. Let's do that inside of our error boundary here. Um, so we'll say selected Pokemon ID, question mark. Okay, and in that question mark case, we are going to render this, render this whole block of component, this component tree. And then we need to do an else. So then we'll put our colon for the else and say in the else case, we wanna render this one. So this whole list. We end our, oh, I ended too soon. Cool, so now, we have an ID of one. So that's why right now we are seeing the detail page, but the list went away. So this is this is good, we're on the right track. Uh, so if I do two, we should see Ivasaur, um, and three, we should see Venusaur, perfect. And if we do zero, we should see the list. That's really handy. Um, now, if I click on any of these, oh, I guess that still worked. Okay, it still worked. Uh, let's reset that to zero. Uh, we have no way of getting back though. So this is, th that actually works, and that's great. Um, but we have no way of um, backing out. So we're going to use our set selected Pokemon ID function. And we're just gonna add a back button. So we'll put a div around this and um, add a button, type button. Um, I'm gonna close that up. And we will add a little back hand. And say back. Now, uh, let's see, let's save this. Let's put one here and so we can see what happens. So if I click that, nothing happens. Um, that's because we don't have an event handler on there. Um, we can fix that by saying um, on click. And we will give that a function, which is going to call set selected Pokemon ID. And we're going to set that to zero because zero is the one that, um, you know, whatever. So back now takes us to zero. Now we could accidentally set it to a negative um, number, which is not ideal. So if I hit back, uh, it's gonna break. So, um, Let's let's do this and let's say um, selected Pokemon is greater than one, uh, greater than zero. So now any any uh, invalid or negative number below is going to show the list anyway. 
So that's cool. So uh, we'll set this to zero. And um, yeah, so now we can go back. We can click on another Pokemon. It'll load. We can go back again, click on another Pokemon. It'll load. So that's really all that I wanted to show you today was just how to use a ternary operator to, or yeah, ternary operator to, um, to work this magic. It's very cool. Um, if you want to learn more about ternaries, um, you can go to MDN and look up the ternary operator or conditional operator. Um, I think this is, this is new. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope that that was helpful. Um, try, you know, using this a couple other places. This is something that I use uh, almost constantly, uh, the ability to present one UI or the other based on internal state. So good luck, have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow.